Control Cast. F T D D W Broadcasting here for the win. We bring you the hottest StarCraft 2 action on the planet with the proest casters of all time. My name is AWOL, and joining me as always is my boy Danny. So pumped to be back on the Troll -la 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 casts, and we've got a one versus one today, sort of unique for Troll casts. My pick is going to be down here in the bottom right hand corner of Backwater Gulch. Toad of Steel playing as that blue Zerg, and we got some fist bump there with those two workers in the middle of the map. Danny, you got your Terran boy here. How you feeling about him? I'm feeling pretty good. This troll cast has a real uh, old school feel to it. Just the two of us. We saw a fist bump very early, and uh, it's a one v one. Which uh, Toad of Steel has forgot to rally his drones to his minerals. Look at him. <laughs> oh, they're on a smoke break. Yeah, they are. They're Union Supervisors, the one over there on the left. He's keeping an eye on all of his boys. And we do want to continue to do the word of the cast thing. Let us know what the word of the cast is, Danny, and I'm going to announce some winners from previous casts. You guys have been asking for that. All right, well, the word of today's cast is backdoor. It's not a, sci <laughs> <laughs> it's not a scientific term. Our doctor is not here. <laughs> backdoor. That was funny when you said that because it means to some other stuff. Post the funniest comment you can with the word backdoor in the comments below. If you get the most thumbs up, you will win the entire internet. And speaking of winning the entire internet, Trollcast number 49, Reapers and Ravens. The word of that cast was scissored. And the winning phrase, evidently, it was updated ver it was it is updated version. The back door got scissored. That's Mike 34CZ with 35 thumbs up. You win the entire internet. Danny, how can he redeem his free internet? Oh, that's easy. You just send uh, us a self-addressed self stamp envelope and we will mail you the internet. It's just that simple. Amazing. And we're kind of behind on these, so I'm going to announce one more winner if you don't mind. Trollcast number 50, the one that was me versus you, AWOL versus MBD. The word of that cast obviously had to be Gosu. And the winning one, I loved this one. Damn, I wish I could watch the video, but I gotta go soon. With a sad face, Jilly uh. up a tree with 20 thumbs up. You also win the internet self-address stamp envelope. Send it to us, and we will mail you the internet. You will be a rich man. It's kind of a hard phrase to say, isn't it? It's a little bit of a mouthful. It is, it is, it is. That's, and that, uh, uh, that Trollcast number 50, I won that Trollcast, right? If I recall correctly? You won the game, but I won the Trollcast with the Gosu tab. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Recount what are you gonna do? demanded. So what are these players doing here? We're seeing, like, some double racks action from David. Uh, we're seeing a sneaky drone from Toad of Steel hanging out here in the back. Perhaps he's going to do some sort of proxy of some kind. What do you think he's up to uh, down there? He's just uh, a spy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's that same drone that was uh, being lazy outside the hatchery. He just... Oh, wait. He's doing something. I was zoomed in on him as he's building a hatchery. Proxy. Proxies, sucker! And we've got a bunker out in front here at the natural expansion out in front of Toad of Steel's base. So it looks like both players have some sort of proxy strategy. As we see these reins rolling across the map, gonna hop in that bunker and start applying some pressure and gonna block that expansion. Little does he know, Toad of Steel is expanding in his own freaking base. Yeah, there's, there, there will be no expansion to block. That bunker will end up doing nothing. But you gotta admire the effort, I suppose. E for effort, folks. And effort does win troll cast sometimes. And uh, David is in a sort of a dominating position. However, Zerglings start unleashing their fury on all of these. We'll see. We'll see how fail both of these <laughs> pressure applying strategies are. These Marines from David, though, are rolling right in. And there's nothing in the base here of Toad of Steel that can defend. We do see one spine crawler going up. However, this Overlord is doomed splat. He goes down. How do you think this is going to play out? It looks like it's going to be sort of a simultaneous harass. Yeah, it seems that way. These spine crawlers need to come up quickly. He's going to try and get in and get some drones done there. I liked how uh, Toad of Steel sent his Zerglings out, like, on move and didn't even notice the Marines, like, tearing into them. <laughs> nah, it's all good. They, they don't care about that type of thing. And that one gets canceled. Spine crawler number two is now getting drilled. Cancel, 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 Toad. Oh, he didn't get to cancel that one. That one died. And now these Marines are just drilling all these drones. They are absolutely helpless as this queen has got to come out and has got to do something. And uh, four Marines versus one queen, not a fair battle. You gotta pull your boys off the line. Oh man, oh. Well, that queen, the queen goes down, the Zerglings pop, and those uh, Marines are gonna have to bail. One gets taken out, the second one's done. And, but, 
Uh, is he going to send more in? No, he's just going to fall back to that bunker and hopefully these Zerglings are smart enough not to go in there. Speaking of Zerglings going in, they're going in through the back door. Right here in David's base, starting to rip up SCVs. SCVs not doing anything. They're just getting moitalized as they finally pull some off the line. And about four or five SCVs got killed there, and there are no more minerals coming in for David. And uh, by the way, expansion down here at the bottom left, Danny. Oh yes, none, another sneaky expand, or the only sneaky expand for Totus Deal. So all his expansion, his uh, natural was all uh, blocked up. So he just went somewhere else. Not terrible. You know, I always see these Zerglings trying to surround the Marines, and that's just not working out. But he successfully stopped the economy of David. Here's the clutch part, Danny. The absolute clutch part. He's not sending anything in to do about this proxy hatch in the middle of his freaking base. The creep is going to start blocking him from building his own buildings. And he's like, ah, now I'm just going to roll out. with." He's rolling his Marines out. He's not applying any pressure to it. Now two spine crawlers are going to be down. And he's not going to be able to do jack squat about this as a queen's now coming out. He's probably going to start pooping creep all over the place. Yeah, well, in his, in his defense, uh, he, ha he has supply blocked. I guess, <laughs> I, guess, I guess it is a defense. Noobs! D, 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 D. And, uh, okay, so look, I think that Toad of Steel is in a dominating position, but I don't know. Look at this. David has so many Marines in this base. I think he could straight up wipe out Toad's main if he wanted to. And uh, if he rolls these Marines in, all he has to do is attack move. And this base is Dunzor. God, look at this. He's, it's all in. It's all in, baby. He's putting all his chips on the table. Look at this train of mules and SCVs. Yeah, I don't know, but he's lifted up all his buildings here, too, so perhaps he's going for a little... He's just going to relocate, rather than deal with the proxy hatch. You know, oh. I can understand that. You know, it's all about location, location, location. And David... <laughs> look at that Totus deal. is rolling his drones out. Are they swapping base? <laughs> Are they swapping bases? I don't think we've had a base uh, swap since like Trollcast number three or four. This is kind of hilarious. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen that the SCVs get up there and tank, and they're just uh, he's just tearing up Total Steel's main here. Um, as Total Steel's moving his drones all the way back to David's main. So yes, we have a base switch, it ladies and gentlemen. Switch. I, how do you play this game, Danny? Or I don't understand what's going on. I just see random units. I feel like I'm watching the game of, like, Lemmings or something. What, what's going on doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Um, I just had to pause for a second and uh, lower the, the in-game sound because it was really loud in my ears. But this is officially the weirdest base trade ever. It weirdest. is. I'm at 1029 right now. And, uh... Now this creep's going to go ahead and recede now that everything's down, and now they're going to switch it up, so let's see how... Uh, this is quite the mid-game transition. Yeah, I don't know if there's a strategy guide for what you're supposed to do at this point, if you trade bases with your opponent. I there think is uninstall, right? Is it, Uninst <laughs> uninstall, uninstall. Q, 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 Q. Uninstall, please. And David looks like he's going to drop... Nope, he was going to drop down on that natural. He's like, nah, I'll come in on this main. And uh, by the way, it's expansion down here in the bottom left for Toad of Steel. Has not had any Zerglings, uh, not Zerglings, but drones dropped at it yet. Uh, there's one just popping out now as Toad of Steel barely has any resources. He's spending it all on drones as he's distance mining the crap out of this base. Really, he should pull these drones out of this main, quote unquote, and move them over to his expansion. It would be much more efficient. But uh, he wouldn't be on a troll cast if he was that smart. No, no, it wouldn't be as funny either. I mean, look at this. That is some nice work. Hard work. They were being so lazy earlier, he needs to like whip them into shape.